Hyderabad is a city of many endearing tags, such as the city of smiles, the city of a thousand faces, and more famously, the Pearl City. Behind me is the Chaminar, which has long been Hyderabad's most famous landmark. This world-renowned heritage monument was built in 1591 by the king, Muhammad Kuli Qutub Shah. Situated in the middle of the old city, Charminar and its surroundings are a nexus of ancient Islamic arts and trade that will live on and thrive even today. Come, let's discover some colorful and intriguing secrets of this pulsating living entity called Hyderabad. Hyderabad is the capital city of the southern Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. The city was founded by Muhammad Kuli Qutub Shah on the banks of the Muzi River, which divides the old city from the new. 400 years later, the old city remains a bustling marketplace for the Urdu-speaking Muslim community of Hyderabad. The city extends over an area of approximately 650 square kilometers. at the site of the Qutub Shahi tombs situated about 15 kilometers away from the city of Hyderabad. These tombs are said to be the oldest historical monuments of Hyderabad. Built in Persian, Pathan and Hindu architectural styles, these tombs are the only site in the world where an entire dynasty has been buried at one place. <laughs> My great-grandfather was a Nizam here, so they are from the Asif Jai dynasty and they ruled Hyderabad or the south officially for about 230 or 32 years or 23 years, I'm not sure. That time it was 90,000 square kilometers and it extended way into what is Maharashtra now and part of uh, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu also, apart from the Telangana area here. So after the division of states, it's got Part of it went into Maharashtra and stuff like that. So they ruled here uh, till 19, maybe 49, and for 230 years before that. So before that, uh, the Khutub Shahi rulers were here who built these tombs. These tombs belong to them. These famous seven tombs of the Khutub Shahi dynasty are located in Ibrahim Bagh, close to the Golconda Fort. After the reign of the Qutub Shahi rulers, these tombs were neglected. Salar Jung III, in the early 19th century, ordered their restoration. Another famous historical site in Hyderabad is the Golconda Fort. The original fort on Shepherd Hill was built by the Kakatiya king Raja Pratap Rudradev in 1143. When Sultan Kuli Qutub Shah seized power in 1518, he started to rebuild the fortress and establish the fortress city of Golconda. A fascinating feature of the fort is the clapping portico. Hand claps made under this middle arch of a lower gate reverberate around the hill providing an ingenious mode of communication from the ground to the Bala Hisar pavilion at the top of the hill. The Salar Jung Museum is the third largest museum in India and it houses the biggest one-man collection of antiques and paintings in the world. These priceless collections are the fruits of a lifelong passion by Nawab Mir Yusuf Ali Khan, Salar Jung III. A small portion of the collections were inherited from his father and grandfather. The museum is a repository of diverse Indian, European 
and Far Eastern art, antiques and historical collections. Three highlights of the museum are the Veiled Rebecca, an Italian marble statue. The wooden statue of Mephistopheles and Margareta, symbolically showing good and evil, carved from a single wood block. And the clocks from different countries of Europe. Under the Salar Jung Museum Act of 1961, the museum is now administered by a board of trustees with the governor of Andhra Pradesh as the chairperson.